What's up guys? Today we got a really cool video that I want to share with y'all. It's showing the new Viking 12 volt jump box with the compressor built in. This thing's pretty cool, so you guys come take a look. guys like i mentioned in the intro today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new viking 12 volt jump box with the air compressor that's built in it and the air compressor is capable of 250 psi and today we're going to be putting it to the test before we get started in the video there's one thing i want to disclose this was sent to me by harbor freight to review and show you guys on my channel so i'd like to take just a second to thank the guys at harbor freight for sending this to me. For those of you that's watched my channel for a while, know that I've really, really emphasized on keeping jump packs with you, such as the NOCO GB series. I think these are fantastic jump boxes. You never know when your battery is gonna die or say you go to Walmart or any other store and somebody else's battery is dead. This is really a good thing to keep in your vehicle. We have one in every single vehicle that we own. Another thing that I've bragged about since the very beginning, and you guys that watch this channel know, I'm a firm believer in keeping a portable air compressor with you. Whether it's a battery compressor or a 12 volt compressor, you never know when you're gonna run over a nail, come out from the grocery store and you've got a low tire. Well, that always causes a bad day. Something as simple as keeping this with you makes everything a lot better. You can top it back off, drive it home, or actually drive it to the tire shop, whatever, to get your tire fixed. The problem is carrying two things. Well, the time you buy both of them, you have spent a lot of money because the GB series is almost 400 bucks and the Milwaukee inflator kits, almost 100 bucks like it is. So here's where the Harbor Freight Viking 12 volt jump box and compressor comes in. This thing is a whopping $179 at your local Harbor Freight. Um, you really can't beat that. I mean, it's, it's almost the price of the inflator, but in this kit, you do get a jump box and you do get an inflator and it does have a work light so you can see on the side of the road or at night underneath the hood if you need it. As you guys seen in the B-roll, it's a pretty cool setup the way everything's made. So let's take a look at it real quick. All right, first off, the main duty of this jump box, of course, is a jump box. Is it 1700 peak amps? So Harbor Freight says it will jump a V6 diesel or a V8 gas. It just so happens that we have a hot rod truck out here with a big block V8 in it and the battery is extremely weak. It won't even turn the truck over. So this will be a great test for this because the guy that owned the truck has built a pretty hot little motor in it and it takes some torque from a battery to make that bad boy run. So this will truly test how strong this jump box is. If you turn it around on the back side, you'll see the charging port, which I do like. Um, it don't take a, you know, some kind of little crazy adapter. This thing plugs directly into the wall. It charges really quick. It's got the on off switch that's covered here and it has the digital display for your air gauge that is an automatic fill. So you set it on 35, the compressor runs until it reaches 35 and cuts off, which is pretty cool. And here is where the hose is stored in here. It's nice and neat. It's gonna keep it out of the way when you got it in the trunk and all that good junk. 
Another cool feature is the actual clamps that's on this. So it's not some Mickey Mouse clamps and some cheap old cables. They actually give you 55 inches of cord and it is a two alt cable that comes with this. As you can see, you actually have a little room to work with over a lot of the jump packs that we've seen. But as you see, it is a very strong spring that's in here, very heavy duty you know, clamp that comes with it. I'm, I'm actually impressed with the quality of the clamp. It's pretty simple to use. You simply connect it to your battery, obviously red on positive, black on negative. You turn it on. This tells you how much voltage is in this battery. Once it's connected to the vehicle, that will tell you the voltage of the car battery. And it does have a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug so you can plug your portable coolers in, spotlights, you know, any 12 volt accessories, phone chargers, whatnot into that. It's also got a USB and it's all on a switch, which is pretty cool. You simply push the button and USB lights up. That tells you your USB is working. You turn it off, obviously it's off. This is your test that shows your battery percentage. You see it's 100% charged and the voltage inside the battery is 13. So to turn on the super bright work light, and I will warn you, it is very bright. Push and hold the button and you can see it's gonna allow you to see underneath the vehicle pretty well. And I'm pretty sure I just blinded the camera so you guys may not be able to see anything <laughs> that I'm talking about. Um, to turn the compressor on, you simply push and hold it and the light on the back will come on, indicating that the compressor is ready to go, plus for adding air pressure and minus is to decrease the pressure that you're wanting to put in it. Pretty simple to use unit, very nice unit. This unit is extremely heavy. Um, after speaking with the guys at Harbor Freight, they did tell me that this was a professionally designed tool designed to be used by professionals in a shop setting, such as a car dealership or a shop or whatever, where a guy can take this out there, jump off cars, obviously that's been sitting on a car lot. Maybe the batteries are a little weak. This thing is designed to do that. Um, the compressor is supposed to be a lot heavier duty compressor that can withstand multiple uses throughout the day without damaging it. They do offer another model that is just the jump pack with the same specs as this one. So if you guys don't need a compressor, you know, that's another option you can look at. But I highly recommend if you don't have a 12 volt compressor, this thing will save you. Our little battery operated compressors have gotten us out of a lot of jams and also helped a lot of strangers that we've met at the grocery store, Walmart or whatever, you know, just stick it on there, mash a button, air their tire up and that way they don't ruin their tire or their rim. But anyway, we're gonna test the compressor out. We're gonna see how well this thing will pump and we're gonna see how well this jump box performs. So we're gonna go out here in the shop and we're gonna put it to the test. So you guys, come on. All right guys, so like I said in the studio, this is one of my buddies, kind of hot rod trucks. You see it's got a big block, 454 in it, and it's had a lot of work done to it, and it does have a pretty crappy battery on it. So I'm gonna show you guys that it does have a dead battery, and we'll try this Viking jump box out. And that way you guys will know. So here we go. She's dead. Hopefully the camera picked that up. So don't be alarmed. Yes, this is a red cable because he used the only thing he had to add a ground to it. But this is the negative side of the battery. This is the positive side of the battery. And like I say, this is a, this is a pretty hot little truck. So, you know, it is what it is here. So I'm actually gonna turn the box on. You can see we're 13.1 volts in the box. Positive to positive, negative to negative. You can see the battery is showing 12.7 volts. And we'll see if it'll crank it up. 
hopefully this won't fall off make a mess. So there you can see it definitely jumped the truck off. It's pretty impressive. It will do a V8 with a dead battery. All right, so the next test we got for it, we've got a low tire, as you see here on this GMC. So we're gonna use the air compressor to see how well it works. So obviously we'll have to press the air button and get our display on. The next thing we'll do, open up our door, pull out our hose, and let's see how much pressure we got in it. I know it's low because I can tell by looking at it. Nine point five. So Let's see how long it will take to get this thing up to speed. We're going to set it for 32, as you see there. I'm turn this on and hit the switch, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> As you see, it just finished its 32, and the elapsed time, six minutes, eight seconds. Obviously, there may be a one or two second delay in when I mash the button and when I stop the button, but I mean, this is a 265, 75, 17, so it's a large volume of air that it did put in here it's pretty impressive in my opinion to uh, you know go from 9 to 32 in that little bit because the Milwaukee inflators take a really long time to air up a tire. But you're not doing pit stops, so if you're in a grocery store parking lot and you run over a nail, this thing could be a huge, huge saver. It's definitely going to keep you from changing a tire on the side of the road. So I think it did a fantastic job in both jumping the truck and airing the tire up. It did exactly what it was designed to do, and it did a great job at it. So let's take it back in the studio and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, real quick before we go back in the studio, I know I said we was going back in the studio, but I just unhooked it and rolled the holes up. But I want to show you something pretty cool. This battery is pretty impressive. When I hit the test, you can see it's still got 12.9 in it and 100% charge. So it jumped the truck off and it ran for a little over five minutes, six minutes, whatever it was on that tire. And it's still showing 100% charge. So that's pretty impressive right there. All right, guys, so as you've seen in the shop, it performs pretty well with the jump box as well as the air compressor. You know, I don't see any complaints with this, especially for the price tag of $179. I think it'd be a wise investment for anybody that owns a vehicle to give these a shot. For the price, it's really hard to beat when you compare a lot of the other jump boxes on the market or the other battery compressors, especially when you add the two separate units together to make one. It makes a lot of sense to take a look at this Viking unit. So if you go on Harbor Freight's website, you can look it up. The part number is 57085, or you can simply type in Viking jump box air compressor, or Viking jump box compressor, and it'll take it to you. 
179 bucks. So be sure to take a look at these. Once again, I'd like to thank Harbor Freight for sending this to me. I really appreciate the chance to do the review on this. Like always, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. It never costs you a dime. And if you're not subscribed, click that bell. Hit that subscribe button. That way you'll always get the newest, latest, greatest content that we got. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.